Good morning, America. I'm Charles Gibson. I'm Diane Sawyer, and it's Tuesday, September 11th, 2001. It is lunchtime in London, 5 a.m. in Los Angeles, and 8 a.m. here in New York, live from the CNN Financial News headquarters. It is beautiful outside, perfect September day with lots of sunshine. Oh, would you look at Washington, huh? I'm going outside today. Other than that, it's kind of quiet around the country. We like quiet. It's quiet. It's too quiet. Is that American 11 trying to call? We have some planes. Just stay quiet and you'll be okay. We're returning to the airport. The pilot, everyone's been stabbed. They're in the back of the airplane. They're not. Oh, the hijackers are in the cockpit. Oh, oh no. Okay, we just lost connection. CNN breaking news. This just in, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. There is a major incident in Lower Manhattan. We just got a report in that there's been some sort of explosion at the World Trade Center in New York City. Apparently a plane has just crashed into the World Trade Center. We understand that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center. We have serious news of a major possible air crash in the United States. An incredible plane crash into the World Trade Center. That happened within the last few moments. Just a few moments ago something uh, believed to be a plane crashed into the South Tower of the World Trade Center. We have no idea of what it was. It was a tremendous boom. A gigantic sonic boom. The air is filled with hundreds of thousands of pieces of paper that are just sort of floating like confetti. Stuff just started falling like bricks and paper and everything. When I looked over, there was this guy that was on fire. He was like screaming, and I just told him to roll, roll, and he said he can't. He caught fire as a result of the falling debris? Yeah. Do you have any idea what hit the World Trade Center? We're getting reports that an airplane hit the building. I hear a plane, then all of a sudden I saw it go right into the World Trade Center. So right you in. saw a plane crash, crash into the side of the World Trade Center? Yes, sir. How big can you tell us? Give us an idea. It would be hard to imagine that a small plane could create that kind of hole in a building like the World Trade Center. These buildings are almost a city block size building. This is a large plane. You're talking about a large passenger commercial large jet. large passenger commercial jet. The Associated Press is now reporting that it was an aircraft. Back in the 40s, a plane hit the Empire State Building. In the 60s, a helicopter crashed at the, on the top of what was the Pan Am Building, now the MetLife Building. Remember, it is shortly before 9 o'clock East Coast time, so we suspect there would have been a great many people in the building and presumably on those top floors as well. There is considerable and, and truly terrifying damage on some of those floors at the top. More than 40,000 people work there, and on any given day, more than 100,000 business and leisure visitors come to the World Trade Center. All pilots who fly in this area know very well where the World Trade Center is located. Whenever people from Newark, Kennedy, or, or LaGuardia, when those planes are put into uh, rotation as they're waiting for landing, they circle around this area, which is right near the Statue of Liberty. Wind speeds at this point, not tremendous at all. Uh, flying conditions Picture perfect near conditions. perfect. As you can see, this is a clear blue sky day in Manhattan. If this was an accident, it would be a needle in a haystack kind of accident. I'm afraid we've got a tragedy mm. on our hands. This is horrible. Have you seen any any evidence, Elliot, of, of people being taken out of the building? Uh, you say that emergency vehicles are there. So, the so, so but the of course, the major concern is human oh loss. I mean. <laughs> Just hit. Oh, another one just hit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, just flew directly over my door. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. There's another one. There was another one. I'm running away very, very quickly. There are more explosions further down the building. Explosion. The building is exploding right now. you got people running up the street. Everybody's panicking. Clearly, the thing is out of control. One of our producers said perhaps a second plane was involved. You saw a yes, plane? Yes, I just saw a plane go into the building. 
That looks like a second plane. It could be a 727 right there, maybe even bigger. This one into the East Tower. Yes. I wonder if there are air traffic control problems. Another passenger plane hitting the World Trade Center. These pictures are frightening indeed. This is so shocking, of course, to everybody watching. What we've just seen is, is about the most shocking videotape I've ever seen. What are the odds of two separate okay. planes hitting both towers? And now you, you have to move from talk about a possible accident to talk about something deliberate. This has to be deliberate, folks. Why do you say that was definitely on purpose? It's because it just... It just flew straight into it. It literally flew itself into World Trade Center. I think we have a terrorist act of proportions that we cannot begin to imagine at this juncture. Oh, my God. My goodness. Oh, this is terrifying. Awful. That is a very hard thing to watch. To watch powerless is a horror. What we have been fearing uh, for the longest time here apparently has come to pass. President Bush has been informed of this incredible tragedy happening in New York. ABC's Peter Jennings is uh, at the anchor desk and is now in position. There is chaos in New York at the moment. There is confusion in Washington. The FBI is already investigating reports that a plane was actually hijacked. Early reports are that at least one of those planes was a hijacked American Airlines plane en route from Boston to Los Angeles. The crash of these two aircraft into the towers of the World Trade Center in New York appear to be an act of terrorism. We want to also remind people that uh, the World Trade Center bombing that took place on February 26th back in 1993, the product of a terrorist attack, the result of a terrorist attack that killed six people and injured more than a thousand and the explosion happened in a garage in the basement mm -hmm. this was a direct hit on the midsection or upper section of the tower so the potential for injuries and death much larger of course also some people on the planes we have no idea what the evacuation procedure is in the building when the impact hit the first tower okay. you would hope that people who were in the second tower were beginning to evacuate at this time all elevators are out in both towers according to the rescue workers on the scene and people will have a long horrendous, terrifying walk down in a darkened building. Can you characterize the, the scene down there right now for us? Thousands of people that have been running from inside these buildings, and they say there was just pandemonium. There was no warning, no alarms, no anything. Everyone just raced from their desks, ran downstairs, and now there's a steady stream of folks running away from the building. The person who answered the phone on the trading floor at inner dealer broker Cantor Fitzgerald, located near the top of the World Trade Center, said, we're blanking dying when asked what was happening and hung up. There was screaming and yelling in the background and a follow-up call was not answered. I gather the city is ordering a major evacuation from a number of public buildings and a number of these very high-profile targets. They're going into uh, what they call an Archangel operation, which is a code name for uh, essentially a major lockdown of the city, evacuating the United Nations building, the municipal building, City Hall, Gracie Mansion, which is the mayor's residence. David Gregory is now on the phone. Yes, Katie, the president is about to begin an education event, which is obviously uh, being canceled. He was made aware en route from his hotel uh, to this school here in Sarasota, where he was going to talk about education. He'll make a statement, then we're told by White House officials uh, that he will quickly depart for Washington. David, we're going, David, we're going to, to cut, to cut you off. President Bush is speaking. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a difficult moment for America. I um, unfortunately will be going back to Washington after my remarks. Secretary of Rod Page and Lieutenant Governor <clears throat> will take the podium and discuss education. I do want to thank the folks here at, uh, at the Booker Elementary School for their hospitality. Uh, today we've had a national tragedy. Uh, two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. I have spoken to the Vice President, to the Governor of New York, to the Director of the FBI, and have ordered that the full resources of the federal government uh, go to help the victims and their families and, the, and to conduct a full-scale investigation to hunt down and to find those folks who committed this act. Terrorism against our nation will not stand. And now if you join me in a moment of silence.
May God bless the victims, their families, and America. Thank you very much. The president clearly shaken, I think one can say, saying the two things which a president must say. Terrorism will not stand, and God bless the victims and their families. Aaron Brown uh, in New York City joining us now. Aaron, we can see over your uh, left shoulder there the, the building still smoldering. Well, it is uh, a grotesque sight to look at from about 30 blocks away from where we are. Senator Ted Kennedy is speaking in Washington as again. One of the planes was hijacked from Boston. We are not going to see the business of America uh, deferred because of terrorism, uh, whether it's in education or in other area of a public uh, policy. Uh, that's uh, Air Force One you see in Florida, the president on board. Extraordinary security around the plane before the president got on. This is election day, a primary election for mayor and city council races here in New York. That election has been postponed until further notice. There was a a convoy, I can't think of a better word, a convoy of fire and police trucks racing down the West Side Highway. And this is in the middle of rush hour. Every uh, available fire unit here has been brought to the Trade Center. Now a triage center uh, for the injured has been set up just around the corner from the World Trade Center. It's um, an incredible scene down there. We have a report of, of six people dead and a thousand injured, but those numbers are certainly going to go up. The trading on the New York Stock Exchange has been suspended. Uh, Newark and LaGuardia particularly have already suspended operations. The Empire State Building was put on alert. And now we have a no-fly zone. Um, all around the lower part of New York City. The Lincoln Tunnel has been closed here in New York. Bridges and tunnels coming into New York have been closed. Uh, that will create a whole different set of problems. Katie, I don't want to alarm anybody right now, but apparently there was an explosion of some kind here at the Pentagon. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there is smoke pouring out of the Pentagon. Chris Plant, a CNN producer, is at the Pentagon where there is a significant fire. Chris, you're on the phone. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you just fine. Tell me what you know. Claire, let me interrupt you for a second. We now have fire confirmed at the Pentagon. I have John McCrethy at the Pentagon can hear me. John, please get in touch immediately if you can and brief us in there. John McCarthy has actually been evacuated from the Pentagon. Associated Press is reporting that a plane crashed at the Pentagon. The heart of the military uh, command center of the United States of America, John. It can't get much worse than this, let's hope. Claire, what's that we're looking at? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out right now. It's like nothing uh, I've ever seen. There's something going on behind the old executive office building. We are also getting reports now that there is a fire on the mall in Washington. The car bomb has exploded at the State Department. There is a plane circling the White House at the moment. A white plane, a very big jet. The Secret Service was very concerned, pointing up at the jet in the sky. The Secret Service received what AP is describing as a credible threat of a terrorist attack against the White House itself. The people who came out were told and ordered by the Secret Service to run. I'm in front of the Capitol, and a moment ago, police officers ran up to us and told us, and I quote, there is a plane that has been hijacked and is headed this way. There has been an explosion of some kind at the Capitol. And back toward the Supreme Court area, we just heard a low, muffled thud. It sounded like a small explosion. Sirens are going off around this city like you cannot believe. Now anything is possible. We want to hold our breath here, it just seems to me, for a second, and, and not get into a mode that the country is under attack. We are a nation under siege. Tell everybody that uh, heightened security is important now. The word of the day is steady. Steady. This does seem to be surreal, but in fact it is real. Whatever is happening and whoever is responsible, we have no way of knowing if it's played out yet or if it's just going on. So every time we hear a plane go by, we wonder what the situation is and right. where it is yeah. headed. Police have been sent to Union Station. A bomb squad has been sent to Union Station, which, as you know, John, is located just a couple of blocks from the Capitol. All military personnel in the, in the District of Columbia are now on something that is called threat level delta, which is the highest state of alert in the military. Some of the Secret Service now patrolling the perimeter in Lafayette Park, which is directly across from the White House, have automatic rifles drawn. The president is in Florida this morning, so the president is not in any danger, but the White House, of course, is fully operational, whether the president is there or not. 
It should be noted that there are sharpshooters on the roof of the White House who have anti-aircraft missiles for just this kind of situation. We now are being told that the U.S.-Mexican border has been sealed. The U.S.-Canada border is also in a high state of alert. International flights headed for the United States are being sent to Canada now. There's a report of a second hijacked plane heading towards the Pentagon. We are also being told that the FAA has suspended takeoffs and landings, and I want to make sure I get this right, guys, that in all uh, at all airports around the country. This is a major development. The Federal Aviation Administration has shut down all air traffic nationwide. This country has been immobilized by these terrorist attacks in terms of air travel today. Chad, just, uh, and if you don't know, just say you don't know. Do you, can, can you recall a situation where every airport in the country had been shut down? Absolutely not, except in wartime. We have a report that uh, there is a fire at the State Department as well. That is being evacuated. The White House is being evacuated. The Pentagon is being evacuated. The Capitol, the Treasury Building also being evacuated. The Justice Department is now being evacuated. The United Nations has been evacuated. All federal office buildings in Washington, D.C. Uh, are being evacuated. The Sears Tower in Chicago has been evacuated. Los Angeles International Airport, LAX, has been evacuated. Disney World in Orlando uh, has been evacuated. Um, someone said to me a moment ago, before the day is over, everything's going to be shut down. All museums and monuments in Washington are now shut. Uh, including the National Zoo. Security has been heightened at federal courts. All federal buildings we are now learning in West Virginia, in Maryland, in Pennsylvania, and in Delaware are closed. In Dallas, offices evacuated. In Florida, Jeb Bush has closed the Capitol. The state of California is on high alert. The state's emergency council has convened there. In Colorado, city and state offices have stepped up security around government buildings. Uh, in Maryland, uh, security officials uh, tightening security all throughout the state. Security not surprisingly heightened at Andrews Air Force Base. Schools are closed there. In Nevada, security has been increased at casinos on the Las Vegas Strip, at federal buildings across the state, at Nellis Air Force Base near Las Vegas. In North Carolina, military bases are preparing for a possible change in status. In Pennsylvania, National Park Service officials meeting to determine whether the city's high-profile tourist attractions, which include the Liberty Bell, Independence Hall, will be closed. Canada has shut down all of its airports, according to the transport minister. Uh, John, um, tell us as best you can what the government's national security apparatus uh, will do right now. I mean, what, what do you guess is happening and where is it happening? As the president was on his way back from Florida, we are told by sources a security decision was made that at this time not to bring him back to Washington, so he was brought to one of several military installations in the United States. Vice President Cheney uh, directing operations and monitoring things here at the White House in the White House Situation Room. From the White House Situation Room, a president or a vice president can direct a war. It is accessible to all information from the United States military, from the federal emergency management agency from the Federal Aviation Administration in this case. The White House Situation Room is a bomb shelter. That's either U.S. Uh, uh, Air Force or Navy aircraft, uh, fighter aircraft, now on patrol, lest there be one more attempt. Two Navy carrier battle groups, the USS George Washington and the USS John F. Kennedy, are being uh, dispatched out of Norfolk Naval Base right now. They are getting underway and heading up the eastern seaboard. Wow. And some Jamie, people were... Jamie, I need you to stop for a second. There has just been a huge explosion. We can see uh, a billowing smoke rising. Let's go to the Trade Tower again because, John, we now have a... What do we have? We don't... Wow. It looks like a, a new plume, a new large plume of smoke. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> We're not sure exactly what happened, but it was another explosion on the far side of one of the buildings from where we're standing, the, ver the, the reverberation, and another explosion on the right-hand side. And I can't, I'll, I'll tell you that I can't see that second tower, but y there was a cascade of sparks and fire, and now this, it looks almost like a mushroom cloud. What is behind it, I, I cannot tell you, but just look at that.
That is about as frightening a scene as you will ever see. The whole side has collapsed. The whole building has collapsed. The whole thinking, building has collapsed. The building has collapsed. It My pulled God. it down on itself. You can see this extraordinary plume of smoke uh, that is, or was at least, the second tower of the World Trade Center. You could, from where we were standing, see that second building, but you can't see it anymore. There is panic on the streets, thousands of people running up Church Street. We are talking about massive casualties here at the moment. This is a place where thousands of people work. Over the police radios uh, among the emergency workers, um, I can hear them screaming, calling for help at the triage center, where other people who were already injured have been injured more. We heard a big bang, and then we saw smoke coming out, and everybody started running out, and we saw the plane on the other side of the building, and there was smoke everywhere, and people were jumping out the windows. Over there, they're jumping out the windows, I guess, because they're trying to save themselves. I don't know. Bodies started dropping from the top floors of the... Uh tower closest to the highway. Obviously they had two choices, to be burned into in flames or to uh, leap and end it all. It was quite tragic. Whew. That is extraordinary. My God. Now anybody who's ever watched a building being demolished on purpose knows that if you're going to do this you have to get at the at the under infrastructure of a building and bring it down. It looked like the top part of the building was so weakened by the fire that it just, the weight of it collapsed the rest of the building. That's what appeared to happen. They were not designed perhaps to take a direct strike from something the size of a 737 or perhaps a, an Airbus, perhaps fully loaded with fuel. Steel will melt. From Mayor Rudy Giuliani in New York City, right now we have to focus on saving as many lives as possible. And all kinds of fire workers going in there, literally in the thousands now, converging on this site. This is the scene in Lower Manhattan where these scenes of chaos and utter confusion are just mind-numbing. The FBI uh, rescue operations and other FBI operations are really in chaos right now because they can't reach their officials in New York. All of their phone lines are down. And now you've got all of their special experts on this stuck in Monterey, California, trying to get a military flight back because there are no longer commercial flights. At the scene now at the World Trade Center, because of the concerns of the structural stability of the remaining tower, they are now evacuating their own command post and triage center, and they have to find an even further zone to move that to. Maybe there's two of us in this office. We're not ready to die, but it's getting bad. I understand that. We don't we have everything, though. I know you do, but it doesn't seem like we get, you get lots of people up here. Oh, God! Oh! And there's, you can see, perhaps the second tower, the front tower, the top portion of which is collapsing. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. They seem to have the north problem at the north tower. Oh, my God. Good Lord. There are no words. America, offer a prayer. One has to assume that thousands of lives have been extinguished. May uh, God help those who are there and the victims and their families uh, and all the souls that are lost today. And take a look at the poignant picture you see there. The Statue of Liberty, folks, is still standing. There's a, there's a haze everywhere. It's very, very difficult to see, but there has been a, a whole area has been covered by soot and ash. So it looks almost like snow. So as people are coming up the street, running from the scene of this new explosion. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like this. This whole place looks like a war zone. There's debris everywhere. It's hard to breathe. And when that cloud came at us, I could feel it, the force of it. We've been told by firefighters here that there is a report of a bomb in this building. This is a school, a high school, right here. We have a report that there has been a collapse, a collapse at part of the Pentagon itself. There is now in New York and in northern New Jersey a critical shortage of blood. A blood shortage, we are being told, in Washington. United 93, go ahead. Uh, Captain, I would like to all the remain seated. We have uh, one more board and we are going to take the airport.
that a 747 uh, is down in Pennsylvania. I'm going to interrupt you, Senator McCain. These are the first pictures we have in. Uh, this is from Somerset County, Pennsylvania. This is United Airlines 93. This was a Boeing 757 bound from Newark, New Jersey to San Francisco. It crashed in Somerset County, Pennsylvania near the town of Shanksville south of Pittsburgh. We are getting information now that one of the other buildings, Building 7 in the World Trade Center complex is on fire and has either collapsed or is collapsing. This is certainly the worst and most coordinated single attack in the history of the United States. CNN's Wolf Blitzer in Washington has been doing some reporting on the president, the president's activities. Wolf, join us. The president is on his way back to Andrews Air Force Base right outside of Washington. We're told that uh, Air Force One is expected to land in about 15 minutes. We're also told it's being flanked by three U.S. Air Force fighter jets, two F-15s, one F-16. A remarkable situation, a remarkable development. All of my years covering the White House, I don't remember ever Air Force One returning to Andrews Air Force Base with uh, protective cover by fighter jets. I need to interrupt you. This is a Taliban spokesman. Uh, talking uh, now in Kabul, I believe. Uh, sources are telling CNN that there are, quote, good indications that people with links to the Osama bin Laden organization are responsible for today's attacks. Freedom itself was attacked this morning by a faceless coward, and freedom will be defended. There is international reaction coming in. Russian President Vladimir Putin expressed his condolences to the American people over the terrorist attacks, calling them terrible tragedies. This from Prime Minister Tony Blair in London. This mass terrorism is the new evil of our world today, he said. It is perpetrated by fanatics who are utterly indifferent to the sanctity of human life. French President Jacques Chirac called it a monstrous attack expressed his solidarity with the American people. Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat and his top aides are following the events from his seaside offices in Gaza City. He says, I send my condolences to the president, the government, and the people for this terrible incident. Dateline, uh, West Bank. Uh, thousands of Palestinians celebrated today's terror attacks in the United States, chanting, God is great, and distributing candy to passers-by terrorist pigs. I can hear you. The rest of the world hears you. And the people who knocked these buildings down will hear all of us soon. Yeah! 